What's going on guys? Today we're going to take Harry Giles and we are going to do a Harry Giles graphic. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing, as always, I do my hue and saturation. I decided to increase the hue and saturation and what that does is just adds a little bit of red to the skin and it makes it pop a little bit. And I also adjusted the levels. So in this case, I did a multiply level on top to darken the shadows within my photo. The next thing I did is added a levels adjustment and I brightened the other areas that need to be brightened. So what I mean is any area where the light hits it and it creates like a, um, a white layer on top, I always brighten those layers just so they are a little bit more enhanced. And then I added a selective color as well as vibrance and adjusted the curves just to make it a little bit brighter. The next thing I did was mask it out and I got rid of the background as well as I added the jersey, so I jersey swapped them. Pretty simple, all you gotta do is cut out a jersey from the trailblazers and then you have to warp it to the body. And then I used my clone stamp tool in order to get rid of the logo as well as the red and black because it was on the wrong side. Using the marquee tool, you can get rid of the, the bottom or any area that you don't want to be in your, your photo. And then I decided to mask out a picture of the red and black stripe on Damian Lillard. And then I just made it bigger so it looked uh, like a normal Trailblazers jersey. After I did that, I took the Blazers logo from Damian Lillard's jersey. I blew it up and then I put it right onto Harry Giles' jersey body. I did the same thing for his number as well as the two logos on the top left and the top right. So that's the Nike sign and the BioFree sign. I decided to take those and put those on the jersey as well. The next step is to add another picture of Harry Giles. This one I took from the Kings and I just blew it up so you can't see the jersey. And then I just edited it as good as I possibly can by increasing the texture clarity first off as well as a couple other small adjustments that really bring out the darks as well as the lights within the photo. After I did that, I just did some levels adjustment. I did the same exact adjustment for the first picture we did, so I'm not gonna go over that again because it's gonna be repetitive, but I will quickly mention you go to levels and then you adjust for screen. That brings out the brights within your photo and then you adjust the second levels adjustment for multiply, which brings out the darkness within your photo. So after you've done that, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And then the next thing I did was use selective color in order to make it a red tone. So I knew that the overall theme of my photo was gonna be a little bit more red because it's gonna be the trailblazers. And so what I did is just make sure all my selective color the cyan was adjusted so that it looked a little bit more red than usual. After I did that, I added a couple of different things. So I added the Trailblazers logo on the side and then two of the Trailblazers logo on top, as well as I added a black background with a little bit of grunge in the background. After I did that, I added some plus signs, which are different elements that I've found within different packs that designers do giveaways for. And then I added a stroke around the outside of Harry Giles first picture and I thought it looked pretty good so I knew that I wanted to do that for the rest of my pictures as well as the logo on the top. After I put in a couple of rips on the side as well as the top left I knew I had some space that I wanted to create and so I put in another picture of Harry Giles and I had to obviously adjust the contrast as well as highlights and then I added a little bit of texture as well as clarity and vibrance to bring out the colors and then I took down the shadows. After I did that, I did the same thing again, levels adjustment, really important. Took down those dark parts of my picture and then I brought out the lights. After I did that, selective color again so that the color matches the skin of the two other pictures that I have and then I decided that I needed to blow it up a little bit and then center it. Another really important part is hue and saturation. So it was a little bit too saturated, the red, 
and it brought brought it out a little bit too much and it was contrasting with the red of the trailblazers logo in the background as well as on the side so what i needed to do is just bring down the hue and saturation a little bit so that it was a little bit less saturated than normal and then i just adjusted it to what it looked like on the side as well as top for the trailblazers logo the next thing i did was place the trailblazers logo toward the outside and I decided to add a little bit of tape to the right side of it in order to give it a little bit of texture. Also, I wanted to add Harry Giles' name to the left and the right of the Harry Giles on the bottom. Pretty simple. I added some tape and then I added the text on the right side as well as the left side. This next part here is me seeing if tape around the outside would look good and I ended up going with tape as an overlay on the name Harry Giles. I also added a layer in the background of a paragraph about Harry Giles, but I set it to gauge and blur so it was unreadable, but it creates a really cool design that you can see in the final result here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And if you learn anything, please subscribe. We do videos every week. And I feel like these videos help you guys out a lot. So please let me know in the comments. And as always, take care. Have a good one.